Hi, my name is Fabio and uh, I'm going to show you how you can make an infinitely flexible to-do list using Airtable. Um, Airtable is a database for um, you know your average person. It is a really cool way to structure information in, in a really, really flexible manner and to collaborate on that information with other people. Um, so the first thing that we need to do to create our to-do list is create a new base. Um, when you click on create a new base, uh, you see that we actually have uh, a lot of pre-existing templates that you could use and there's actually one on team task management which might fit your needs. But I wanted to show you guys today how you can create a base from scratch and, um, and, and what that process really looks like. So let's go ahead and click on this. We can call this to do, give it a nice color and maybe a checkbox icon and let's get started. So if we click into it, the first thing we see here is that we're looking at um, the first table. Uh, we can easily create more tables, but let's just focus on this first one and we'll call this our tasks. Um, and for the tasks, let's say in the first column what we want to add is just what is, what is the to-do item that we need to get done. Um, and in Airtable, every column has a type. And we can choose that type by clicking into this drop-down menu and selecting one of these many types that exist. Um, for the to-do item, we probably just want to have a single line of text where we describe in you know, just a couple words what the to-do item is that we need to do. And for the second column, we probably want to have a checkbox where we can essentially check off whether or not we've done this item. And so if we save that, we'll see that this column now contains a bunch of checkboxes. And so and let's just make maybe this third column here and we'll say this one is um, details about the task. Let's say sometimes there's more explanation that needs to happen, so we'll choose the long text column type. Okay, great. Um, so the first thing we gotta do is add some to-do items to your to-do list. So let's say um, do laundry. Gotta do that later today. Um, pick up Mandy from the airport. Um, what else do we have to do? hang out with Fred and let's say pick up a gift for anniversary. Cool, so now we have a bunch of to-do items um, and you might say, okay, well, you know, uh, what happens if I check this box? Well, the answer is nothing. And the reason for that is because this is simply a state. You're simply saying, you know, have you done this task or not? But the story doesn't end there. Um, Airtable has something called views. And views are essentially different ways that you can filter and sort the information that you have in a table. Um, you, can, you can create another grid view, which will be similar to this view, but with different filters and sorts applied to it, or um, create a form view and have other people submit to-do items to your to-do list. But for now, let's create a new grid view and we'll call this one the to-do. So this, essentially we want this list to only contain the items that we have not yet done, the items that we have not yet checked off. So the way that we can do that is by adding a filter. Um, if we click on filter, we can essentially say, all right, um, show me only the items where done is not checked. And when we add that filter, um, as, as soon as we change one of these checkboxes from being unchecked to checked, aka we've done it, it'll essentially disappear from this list. So let's give it a try. If I'm done with my laundry, I can check this box and boom, that item is gone. So all of a sudden now we, we know have a list of to-do items which only belong to us. Um, okay, let's maybe explore uh, a couple more column types. So let's say you have different types of to-dos, right? You might have work-related to-dos, personal to-dos, um, and maybe community to-dos. So if we have multiple uh, types of to-dos, 
Maybe we, wanna, we want to use a single select type to choose what type of to-do is this. So these that I've listed out here look that, like they fall under personal, but we might also have work. We might also have community service. And if we save that, now each of these um, cells in this column are little dropdowns where we can essentially choose what type of to-do this is. So all of these are personal, but let's maybe make another one for work. So let's say meeting with Howie, and this is gonna be a work to-do, and um, you know, finish up proposal. And that's another work to do. And then let's say um, work at the soup kitchen. And that might be a community to do. Now the really cool thing here is really you can group these to do's however you'd like. However you like to organize your to do list. Um, and once that you've added these, these types to your to do's, you can start to make custom views for a particular area of your life. So let's say here, we only wanna have our work to-dos. So we can call this view a work view, and we can add a filter here and say, show me the to-dos where type is work. And all of a sudden you can see that it's filtered out all of the personal, all of the community to-dos, and you can just focus on the ones that you need to do for your work. So let's say, um, sometimes to-dos have um, documents or images or, or some kind of you know, um, document that we want to attach um, to the to-do item so that we can easily find it, we can share it with others, and um, it's right here in our to-do list. So what we can do here is we can create another column called attachments, and it'll be the attachment type. And if you click into this, you can see that it says you can drop files into these cells. So let's say for the proposal, we're going to come in here and we need to drop in our proposal. So we could go um, into our computer and we could choose the proposal file and say, okay, there it is. Perfect. And we upload that and it will create, it will add itself here to the attachments. Um, and we can easily view it from here. Uh, we can also share it with other people um, on our team by clicking on share and adding other collaborators to our base. Um, and all around, it's just a, a really great way to stay organized. Um, let's see. Oh, this was definitely a, a personal to do. Um, Going back to the main view here, we can see all of our to-dos in one place. I think that is all that I wanted to show you guys for this first tutorial, but um, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more coming up soon, and uh, I hope this at least gave you a sense for you know, how you can use Airtable to create um, little workflows and, and, and a little app um, of your own that fits your needs perfectly. Um, like I said, it's infinitely customizable, which is what I really like about it. And um, I've seen it uh, be used for so many different use cases. It's, it's really, really um, mind-boggling just how powerful it is. Um, all right. Thanks a lot.